Welcome to this getting started video about setting up users in QuickBooks Online. As your client's business grows, they may add more employees, subcontractors, and other people who participate in the day-to-day -day accounting work in QuickBooks. QuickBooks lets you set up the following types of users. The regular or custom user. This type of user can be customized to give specific access to parts of QuickBooks. Company administrator. This user manages the company file and has access to all parts of the software. Reports only. This user is available in the QuickBooks Online Plus version. This type of user is limited to the viewing of reports. Other activities are not available to this user at all. Time tracking only. This user is also available in the Online Plus version. The time tracking only user lets people submit timesheets online directly in QuickBooks. This user is limited to entering timesheets. Accounting firms. QuickBooks lets your client add you as the accountant, bookkeeper, or consultant and become a full-time user in their accounting file. As an accountant user, you have unlimited access to your client's file. Let's review how to add a regular or custom user in QuickBooks. From the home page, click the company menu and then click manage users. QuickBooks displays the manage users window. The manage users section of the page lets you add the users from your company. The accounting firm section is where your client will invite you to be part of their QuickBooks file. To add a regular user, click new. Select the type of user that you want to set up. Select regular or custom user and then click next. QuickBooks now lets you set the user's access rights. This lets you choose what access you want to give the new user. Select limited and then click customers and sales. This limits their access to sales related transactions and activities. Click next. Now you can add administrative rights for this user. Select the options that apply to the new user. After you make your selections, click Next. Now enter the email address of the user, and you can also enter their name. Click Next. Click Finish to complete the setup of the new user. Now you see the new user is listed on the Manage Users page. It displays that the user is pending. When the new user accepts the invitation, they will become an active part of the QuickBooks file. You can use these steps for setting up users as new people are added to QuickBooks.